Hey guys, we are now entering the East Martello Museum in Key West, Florida, which houses something very unique. Robert the doll, which inspired the movie Chucky. If you ever get a chance to visit him, don't take a picture of him before asking for his permission to do so. Every year, he receives hundreds of letters of apology from former skeptics who took pictures without his permission. So what's the story behind Robert the doll? To understand this, we have to travel to a big Victorian mansion called the Artist House a few miles away. It is called the Artist House because an artist, a painter, grew up here. His name was Robert Eugene Otto. When his mother was four months pregnant, she sends her husband to the Bahamas to find four helpers, including a woman, to take care of the baby. The trip took a little bit longer than it should have. The nanny became pregnant and Mrs. Otto is not too happy with who the father is. So now, this young Bahamian girl has to spend nine months locked up inside an outhouse in the backyard. If that's not terrible enough, she's only fed bread and water once a day. When her own child was born, it only survives two months, obviously because of the mother's starvation. Mrs. Otto is a tough slave driver. She keeps all the servants, including the woman, and made the woman take care of Robert Eugene Otto, who's now a few months old. Now, you would probably expect the Bahamian woman to take her vengeance out on Robert, but she fell in love with this baby, even breastfed him, and took him on as if he were her own. Things go smooth for a while until Mrs. Otto walks into her backyard on a full moon night to see the four Bahamian servants performing Santeria. What is Santeria? It is a recognized religion which started in Cuba. It is a mix of voodoo, Catholicism, and animal sacrifices. Now Mrs. Otto is shocked to see her four helpers cutting the head of a live chicken. She freaks out. The next morning, she makes everyone pack their bags and is ready to ship them back to Bahamas. The nanny begs Mrs. Otto not to be separated from Robert. She not only lost her first child, but in a way, she's losing her second child. But there is no going back once Mrs. Otto makes up her mind. So she makes a parting gift for Robert, a three-foot doll, black buttons for eyes, cloth for skin. The doll looks creepy enough, but what's more creepy, the doll becomes Robert Jean Otto's only playmate on the island. He would be spotted walking up and down the street talking to this doll. Now, as soon as the nanny left, bad things started to happen in this house. Things would end up missing or broken. Being the only child, Robert Jean gets blamed for everything. But his reaction was very strange. As his mother would start to yell at him, she might go, Robert Eugene Otto. Full name, the old-fashioned way of reprimanding a child, right? He would stop her and say, don't you ever call me that again. He would point at the doll and say, he's Robert and I am Jean. He gave the doll his own first name and kept his own middle name for himself. Jean did this every time the blame game came up. He would say, I didn't do it, Robert did it. Years passed by, now Jean is a 19-year-old man and he's still walking up and down the street with Robert the doll. At this point, the family decides to move to France. They pack up the entire house, everything, except Robert the doll, who gets locked in a trunk and left behind in the attic. Jean, now without Robert, starts to become more sociable in France. He meets a lovely girl and eventually they get married. As a wedding present, they get the house that Jean 
grew up in, so they move back into the house. Now, Gene goes up in the attic and comes across a trunk. He has no idea what's in there, opens it up. Out comes Robert, and now we have a grown married man walking up and down the street, carrying and talking to a doll. And who's his wife gets pissed at this quirkiness, so he asks him to keep the doll confined to the turret. The turret is that big round thing on top. Gene agrees. After a few years, Gene becomes abusive, and he will even beat Anne. One time, as Anne was inspecting the old outhouse in the backyard all by herself, Gene shuts the door and locks her in the outhouse. For three days. Wait, it was not Jean. It was Robert, and yes, it is the same outhouse the Bahamian nanny was locked in for nine months. As years pass by, things get stranger. Jean builds a bed, a chair, a couch, all built to scale for Robert. Sometimes Anne could hear Jean begging Robert not to hurt him. Jean starts to insist that Robert should be fed first because he was now the master of the house. In the evenings, kids would gather in front of the house, point right at the turret, and say, "The doll, it moves." Footsteps would be heard in the turret, even when Jean was not there. In 1974, Jean was found dead in the turret. And Robert was seen on top of him, not hugging him, but with his hands around Jean's neck. After Jean's death, Anne leased the house and moved back to France, leaving the doll. In the lease, there was a clause that said Robert must be the sole occupant of the attic room. The new owners put up with him for a few years, but one night they found Robert in their bedroom. With a kitchen knife in his hand, so they gave Robert to the East Martello Museum. He wasn't always put in a closed glass case. During his first year in the museum, Robert was placed just like all the regular objects. But one morning, the person who opened the door found the whole place ransacked. Of course, nothing was missing, but Robert's shoes. Were covered in dust and was found sitting in a different place. From the letters sent by former non-believers, you can see that bad things happened to whoever made fun of him or people who did not ask his permission before taking pictures. These people lost their jobs, marriages, and houses. One guy got a ticket as soon as he pulled out of the parking lot. Most people believe he has a very Real Santeria curse on him, and if you don't ask his permission before laying eyes on him, bad things will happen to you. Wait, did you ask for his permission before watching this video? I hope you like this video. I'm Praveen Mohan. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and leave your comments, and I will talk to you soon.